with graphics card prices dropping faster than Nvidia's board partners, apparently, my mind started wondering. Wondering back to a time where the used market was the only reliable way to buy a GPU fast, but with jaw dropping prices. And that made me realize that I haven't given you guys one of the most important updates for quite some time now. That is used market prices. But why is that so important? Well, because of the recent crypto situation, current generation graphics cards were literally sold by the truckload, almost more than any other generation that preceded them. But then this happened. The crypto boom that imprisoned so many graphics cards and stopped them from rendering the greener grass of modern games, it had all come to an end. You then couple that with the fact that Ethereum's proof of state migration has now finally come into effect, making GPU-based mining completely irrelevant. Well, not quite. Stick around to the end and I'll explain why. But all of this means only one thing. Miners flooding the used market like a tsunami and driving prices to record-breaking new lows, right? Well, looking at the data, maybe not. And even though I've been a big advocate of the used market, I'm here to tell you to avoid it, at least for now because the used market needs to seriously wake up. Sellers are in real big trouble and they don't even know it. And by the end of this video, you'll see how badly sellers are trying to hold on to inflated prices, even at the precipice of the collapse. Let me explain. So I have a question. Are you an avid PC enthusiast stuck with that ugly ass Windows watermark ruining your gaming and streaming experience? Well, I have great news for you. WhoKeys is a software licensing website dedicated to getting you affordable keys. And the best part is you can get rid of that watermark in a matter of minutes. All you need to do is head down to the video description, click the sponsor link and enjoy an additional 25% off using my coupon code TL20. With PayPal checkout and quick key delivery, all you need to do is hit the Windows key, type activate and paste your key right here to become fully activated. It really is that simple and that cheap. So head down to the video description if that sounds right for you. And thank you Hookies for sponsoring this video. So we've been collecting GPU pricing data for well over a year and a half now. So what I want to do is narrow that down and investigate current use prices compared to their launch MSRP and where it gets a bit more spicy for sellers is compared to current new listings. The reason I originally thought this would be a worthwhile dedicated video to make is because of our old enemy supply and demand. Because of the crypto decline, an entire market segment was effectively wiped out. Once a very prominent market segment for GPUs. So obviously as miners sell off their graphics cards flooding the used market, it drives prices to record-breaking new lows. And if you're willing to take the risk on a mind on GPU, you can now build a high-performance FPS wrecker of a PC for pennies on the dollar, right? Well, let's start with the good news. The worst time for GPU prices over the last year was back in November 2021, when Bitcoin and especially Ethereum were at their highest. At this point, most graphics cards were being sold for around two times their original MSRP, which is a pretty sad situation to be in unless you're a scalper. So compared to then, the used market is looking really good. We've seen steep month to month declines for every single GPU with last month's averages showing that almost every single graphics card has dropped by about 50% or more compared to November. But hang on, if back in November they were being sold for about two times their MSRP and now they're 50% less than what they were, doesn't that mean? Yeah, yeah it does. And it's actually worse than you think. Let me show you. So this video actually evolved into something I didn't anticipate, but the more data I collected, the more stupid the results were. Don't get me wrong, some of the data looks pretty good at a high level. The averages last month compared to MSRP look great, especially at the high end. We're seeing several hundred dollars worth of savings by investing in a used graphics card. Good news. But the thing that you have to remember is that it's not just the used market that's been seeing these steep price declines. It's a new market too. And comparing current used market prices to original MSRP is not as valuable as comparing them to current new prices. And when we do that, it tells a completely different story. Let me show you. Imagine you want to buy a 3080 12 gigabyte and you're thinking that you'll check out eBay because, well, they must be a lot cheaper. Supply and demand, the crypto situation, as long as it's been well looked after, it's a pretty good option. And I agree. Then imagine buying on eBay to ultimately realize that you just spent $12.91 more than what you would have on Amazon brand new with warranty. That's the situation that we currently find ourselves in today and why the used market needs to seriously wake up. And although it is the only one that is more expensive used, just take a look at these lowest new versus average use price on eBay. In my personal opinion, maybe saving $100 on a 3070 Ti is tempting, but I don't think a single other model of the current generation is worth saving a relatively pitiful amount by buying used. The wear on the fans, the wear on the memory, the potential lack of warranty. And this is someone who is an advocate for the used market. I know the risks. 
risks and how to mitigate them. I've even done videos on this, but to tell you that you should save $37 on a $400 GPU by buying used, just no, absolutely not. You're just adopting too much risk for too little reward. Instead of saving 10% by buying secondhand, I think it should be more in the region of about 30% less right now, compared to what you can buy new. And the thing is, the market data backed up by seller behavior seems to agree. This isn't enough, but I promise you the biggest price drops are still to come based on this. So all of the used market data that we've collected has come directly from eBay using their market research tool, which allows you to query products and gather sales data. And in this platform, it also gives you relevant data for things related to the sale of the item. Things like total sellers and total sales, which is what we used to report on the GPU scalper investigation a couple months back with some really interesting results in there. But the thing that I want to draw your attention to is the sell through rate right here, which tells a story. Back in November, the average RTX 3060 was being sold for over $750. That's more than double its launch MSRP. But even with the high price tag, 74% of all 3060 listings were sold. Someone actually pulled the trigger and bought them. Fast forward to today, the same GPU is selling for about half that price, but only 34% of listings posted on eBay are actually selling. And we're seeing the same trend across the board. As you can see right here for RTX 3000 GPUs and the same data for RX 6000 series, showing significantly less buyer interest, which is likely due to a mix of used market apprehension from gamers and the anticipation for the next generation. Speaking of, Nvidia's GeForce Beyond event just happened, announcing the RTX 4090, which is coming October 12th and in November, the RTX 4080 16 gigabyte and the 12 gigabyte RTX 4070. Wait, did I just say 4070? I'm sorry, that's not correct. But it's also not entirely wrong either. The 12 gigabyte RTX 4080 doesn't just have four gigabytes less memory like its name would have you believe. It also has over 20% fewer cores and its memory bus drops by 25% too. What does this mean? Well, in many scenarios, it's likely going to perform worse than the 16 gigabyte version even if memory utilization wasn't an issue. Meaning that the 12 gigabyte RTX 4080 is basically a lower tiered card entirely. Thanks Nvidia, you definitely didn't make that confusing, especially as the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte and 10 gigabyte exist. Many people just assumed and will assume that this will be the same, but it's not. But all of the new cards, including the rebadged 4070, are part of the Ada Lovelace architecture, boasting big FPS performance claims as well as DLSS and ray tracing enhancements. So you have to let me know in the comments section if you think they are worth those price increases. But the good news is, now that we've seen Ethereum's proof of state migration go through, this means that we won't see another repeat of the GPU crisis that we experienced over the last couple years. Well, I wouldn't be too hopeful if I were you. So since we recently uncovered that current generation graphics cards are still primarily in the hands of miners, not gamers, and coupled with the fact that Ethereum's proof of state migration has come into effect, making Ethereum mining obsolete, I firmly believe that we will very soon see the mass sell off of GPUs from major mining companies and individuals, which will completely oversaturate the supply of the current generation on the used market, driving prices significantly lower than what you see today. And it hasn't come yet. Even the last seven days averages aren't too much more than a few percent lower compared to August. So if you're thinking about selling now, you're pretty much too late. And if you're thinking about buying, you're definitely too early. But I do need to stress that although Ethereum's proof of state migration is a huge win, GPU based Ethereum mining really wasn't the issue here and removing Ethereum from the equation still leaves you with GPU based mining. And there are many other coins that still operate on a proof of work based architecture designed to be mined on a GPU. So although this is a win that we will enjoy, it is only a matter of time until we see the same headlines that we did over the GPU crisis, but replace Ethereum with Ravencoin or something else. But being completely honest, I don't see that happening for quite some time. These coins need to gain a lot more traction and market cap to be serious contenders. So current news market GPU prices are likely to completely tank in the very near future. And when that day comes, both AMD and Nvidia will feel a lot of pain when the current generation oversaturates the used market channels because a 4080 at double the performance is a pretty bad deal if it's five times the price compared to something comparable used. But the question is, when prices do plummet, hopefully very soon, should you even consider a used GPU, given the fact that it's likely been mined on for a large portion of its life? Well, fortunately, we have the answer to that question and cover the risk involved in this video. So check that out by clicking here or in the video description and the comment section. Otherwise, guys, share, like, subscribe. They are always appreciated. And I hope you have an amazing day.